In this video, I will show you how to create flyer designs like this right in Canva. Let's get into it. First thing I want to do is to add a text. To easily do that, just click T on your keyboard and impute your text. So for this, I'm putting in chili cheese. I'm a big lover of cheese. Uh, and I can say maybe that's what inspired this design. So I want to make sure that the text size is fit to the size that I want. And I also want to make sure, you know, that it is well aligned because alignment is very, very important when designing. So I think I'm satisfied with this. Oh, but still, let's see if we can increase the text size to be bigger than this a bit. So yeah, I think this is fine. Then I move it upward and then duplicate the text. To do that, just click Ctrl D. Next, I want to put in my burger text. So I'll just write burger and then I'm going to change the color to yellow. Uh, so let's change this to yellow. You can see how the single act of, you know, changing this to yellow makes the whole text pop and the burger text stand out. So I'm just going to increase the size, then reduce the size of the chili cheese text because I want it to sit on top of the burger text. Once I'm done with that, I will just group and make sure they are well aligned. Alignment is very, very important. So I think they are well aligned like this. So let's just group it. And yeah, I think we have what we need. Next, I will add my element. So for this, I am using this broker picture I got on Canvas Library. Then I click Background Remover. You can also get images like this from platforms like Freepik and the like. So I'm just going to layer it and bring it to front and just position it where i want it to be next i'm using this element the tomatoes element i got it from canva as well then let's add a blur to do that click edit photo scroll down and click blur how many of you knew you can actually add a blur in canva now you know so i'm going to increase the intensity a bit to how i want it to be and this is what we have you can see it's blurred then i duplicate this and just move it to the way i want it to be now that we are done with that, I think I want to add something else and I want to add pepper. So when designing, look at the elements you want to add to the design that resonates with the design you are creating. So for this, remember it's chili cheese burger. So I want something that's chili. I want to add ingredients like pepper, tomatoes, the burger itself and the likes. So don't add elements that are out of place with the design or what you are creating. So for this, I will also add a blur to this pepper design here and then increase the intensity once i'm done with that i'll position it where i want it to be and then duplicate so to easily duplicate you can just click ctrl d on your keyboard and you have it duplicated so i think this is perfect here what do you guys think okay i think this works here now let's add our call to action text so for this i want to go to elements then search for Call to action like phone now i want to put in my phone number and every other thing so i need elements like phone so i'll just use this phone element right here then change the color i'll put all of these dots elements so all of this is just to add additional pop to the design it's not necessary you do that it's just based on your preference now i want to make the burger pop out a bit so i want it to stand out from the rest of the image so i'm just going to search for rounded shadow then use this and change the color to my preferred color. So I think I like this. So I'm going to move it to back, increase the size a bit. So you can see that the burger has begun to pop out of the background. So you can see that the burger is standing out of the background. So I'm just going to lock all of these elements so that every change I am making is only to the highlighted shadow, the shadow that we have been behind. This layers feature from Canva is one that I'm totally in love with. You can see how it shows me everything in just a single view and i can begin to move around how i want and not you know remove every other thing that's behind so i think i'm fine with this now let's add our call to action so i just want to add a text that says for delivery so it can be for order to order you know you need a call to action what do you want your customers to do when they see this design when they see this your ad what do you want them to do so we're adding our call to action and I'm saying for delivery, I'll change the font to the Montserrat Classic. I really love this font. I don't think you can ever use enough of Montserrat. Now I'm just fitting in my text and placing it where I want it to be. Remember, alignment is very important. So just increase the size so we can see better. So this is what I want. Then I want to reduce the size and move it where I just want it to be. I think it's fine here. So next, I will add my 
phone number i'll just reduce this a little bit more and move it i think it's too close it's too close to the phone button uh okay let's now duplicate this then put in my phone number once i'm done with that i want to also change the color of this phone number to be yellow remember you don't also want to use too many colors in your design so for this design you can see i'm maintaining a red and yellow color feel a red and yellow mood board so when designing have your mood board make sure you don't use more than three colors except it is a really colorful design so now i'm just putting a line so to do that easily just click l on your keyboard and the line pops out so this is our final look let me know what you think about this in the comment section here i'm just playing around with the gradient but i really think i like it how it was before but there's no harm in playing around as well if you got to this point of the video do like share and subscribe so you can get to see more videos and tutorials like this see you in my next video